What the opposition side just came out and said was essentially that because the government were not doing a good enough job of doing its role to balance out society, corporations should come in and do its job for it. Now we on this side of the house have come up here and told you from the very beginning that we are against this stunt. Why is that? First of all, my first speaker has already come up and told you about the allocation of labor. The fact that it, it doesn't make sense for governments to force corporations like Shell, who are good at one thing, to do something else, like building roads. What he also came up here and told you very clearly was that we're not against taxation. What they've been coming up and trying to say is that these corporations are coming into an area and they're destroying it. They're being such terrible, terrible people in that they're not caring about the people who are there. They're not caring about the environment. They're not caring about anything. Now, the distinguishing fact here is that these things, sit down, are against the law. We didn't come up here and tell you that corporations should be allowed to do anything they want. Yes. We said that governments are responsible for making sure that corporations stay in line. What we said was that governments are not responsible and should not make these people do socially responsible things. Now what they came up here and said was now, um, the second point that they said very strongly was that it wasn't just about the pollution and it wasn't just about uh, the terrible things that were going on, which was what we initially thought it was about. What they said was it's about the psychological damage that corporations have when they come into a particular area. Now this leads very nicely on to my argument, which is the social side of corporations and the social side of CSR. Now the thing that I would like to clarify is that these corporations are not scary monsters that are here to take over the world and that are here to take over people's lives. These corporations go into a particular area, hire people in that area, and give these people jobs. They give these people money, and they are the ones who are benefiting from it. They're not, they're not bringing in thousands of people from other places, destroying the environment, and then leaving. This corporation also has to be situated in this particular area and hire the people from this particular area. Now, they're not destroying things at all. Now, if they want to talk about evil corporations, that's a different debate entirely. Now, what else, um, moving on to my actual argument, is that, as he has already started to say, that profits benefit society. Profits benefit society in the way that I've already explained. Profits are what people then get to spend. Now, what we are saying uh, that, okay, fine, go. Should they make, okay, should they have the social responsibility in terms of the environmental concerns because that's not included in your profit? Should they have? It's included in law. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. the thing is, my question for this side of the house is what is wrong with the government improving regulations? Why is it that the government has to force companies to do social responsible things? Why don't the government put in a regulation that says you cannot pollute more than this much? I mean, what's wrong with that? Now let's talk about what social responsibility really is. Social responsibility is not being a psychologist. Social responsibility isn't planting trees. Social responsibility is about a corporation with profit deciding that actually we're going to do some good for this society. If we look at, uh, if we look at the way that this works, by forcing, if the government comes in, let's take their side of house, let's say if the government comes in and says, Coca-Cola, you must now do social responsible things. Now, my first problem is that Coca-Cola already does CSR in the status quo. What we're saying, the, they're doing CSR out of the goodness of their hearts. They're profiting, therefore they're taking these profits back into society. Now, let's take this down to an individual level. As a person, I am taxed. Right? I make money. I make money every day when I go to work. At the end of the month, the government takes some of my money. Taxation is okay because I benefit from what the government takes from me. The government, I am taxed, the government takes this tax and it builds roads and it builds all these things and this is good. At the end of the month, I, I end up, I have a few extra bucks, right? Maybe I have a couple of thousand that I haven't used and I don't need desperately. What do I do? I make the choice.
choice to take my money and give it to charity. This is my choice. This is the same on a corporation, a corporate level. A corporation makes money. A corporation is taxed by the government, who, on our side of the house, we say they take this tax and they build roads where it's needed. They go and do these things where it's needed. They, as a government, should know. I don't know if on this side of the house they know or not, but governments should know where taxation and where this money is needed. So we say, it, this was his argument, we say that this is the best allocation of resources. They're taxed, the tax money goes and does everything. Not only that, but I, as a member of this corporation, also benefit. This is why taxation is good. Now, why is forcing social responsibility bad? Forcing social responsibility is bad because now, right, I don't benefit from it. I don't know, they're saying, oh look, you have to go and do something socially responsible. So what does the corporation do? Oh wait, we have to build a road. We don't know how to build a road. But according to their side, we have to now learn how to build a road in order to build a road that might or might not be what the society needs. Now we say that this is completely anti the idea of social responsibility. Um, companies then have less profit and less incentive to make more profit in, in order to do anything in the society. And we say, if you look at it this way, it does more harm than good. You will end up lessening the amount of social responsibility that is going on. And you will end up lessening the good that these corporations can do within society. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, governments are the best places um, for the allocation of resources. Governments cannot and should not push their responsibility onto big corporations, as is the stance of this side of the, of the house, to do something that governments cannot do. At the end of the day, we're proud to propose. Congratulations. Thank you. 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 Thank
Look, these corporations are not specialized. Ladies and gentlemen, if they can't build roads and they use that money to hire someone to build roads for them, that's something that they could do, right? If they cannot do that, just donate money to something else that they can do to contribute back to that community. The thing, the only problem, the proposition I have is the problem towards approach of how to do corporate social responsibility. Then change the way on how it's done, make it feasible, and we don't think that's how the debate should be done. But more importantly, ladies and gentlemen, we don't think building schools or building, like planting trees is that difficult for normal, average, reasonable person to do. But on the third level, the third level is the idea of even if it comes to the price, the companies who have to do this, we think companies, these companies can gain benefits as, as well, right? Because we think corporate social responsibility can enhance the values of the companies. But more importantly, when you see our companies in the United States of America, when they build school, it also helps the company to make sure that they get the kind of worker that they want, get the worker who specialized in the kind of things that they want. And that's why we think corporate social responsibility comes with benefits. But on the second rebuttal, it's about the idea of government role. The first question is, is it government responsibility? We say, sure, it's a government responsibility, but if or when you have to take a look at society that you're coming from, right? We're the kind of society that believes everyone needs to contribute back to society. We're the kind of society who believes that everyone has responsibility, has duty. For example, in Spain, government enacts law that force everyone to become an organ donor, and the only thing they have is an opt-out system. These are the kind of same, uh, these are the same principle that every single one in society has social responsibility that they have to do something back from the society they're coming from, and that's why we think government can do this. On the second level, the question is, um, it's about, um, no, I'll take it after this. The question is, can corporations do this by themselves, or can government do this and make these such policies? That's when our POI came into a very good use, right? We're questioning what about environmental concerns. Uh, is it okay for government to make sure that they regulate, uh, regulate this? The DPM answered absolutely yes, make it under law. So this is exactly what we're trying to do. We want to make sure that every problem in society, we make it under law, we make it mandatory for companies to address, and just like how companies right now have to do cap and trade or even come up with carbon labeling to make sure that they're aware of the consumer of what they are uh, polluting to society. On the last level is the idea of corporate risk. Uh, social responsibility. Right now, why is corporate social responsibility better than tax? Our answer is we believe that corporate res uh, social responsibility comes that it bypass bureaucracy, it can contribute this fund to address the problem urgently, and more importantly, this is something that you have to do when you mess up the community and it is your responsibility to fix that. It's not that you use the tax money itself in uh, directing to this because tax money has to go to many things you want more ESG. Okay, sure. Central to your case is this idea of duty, right? Doing something when you should. So what's the delimiting factor in your case? When do you determine that this is no longer a duty and this is not something that you should do? That's when we allow the government to decide, right? I don't see how is that a problem. Because we're the kind of society that just want to, companies to take extra burden, but when you already said that this is a principle debate, we don't think it is, uh, it is, uh, it is necessary for opposition to say what exactly does company do, but we, when we think company can do it, there are many countries in the world right now who have already enforced such policy that corporate social responsibility has to be mandatory for company, we think we can do the same thing. So now move on to my arguments on the idea of social norm undermines corporate social responsibility and condones unethical and uh, degrading uh, decisions of these companies. The genuine values under this argument is very simple. The problem right now is we see in the status quo some companies want to be corporate, so uh, want to be very socially responsible. But because majority of the companies in the society are being profit oriented and they're not taking that approach, it is extremely difficult for these companies to make a step forward because it comes with extra costs. For you to have a coffee that is fair trade, they're going to increase your pot price for like 80%. That's why most companies do not use or purchase coffee from a fair trade system. That's why we think it's a problem because we think we, what we want to do is we want to make sure that these noble people are being leveled and being, we are trying to make sure that they can compete, right? Because right now, those companies are taking these extra steps. They are being the one. They are the one who are being.
being at disadvantage in the society right now. So we want to make sure that with this, we want to make sure that with these some sorts of policy, it will allow these companies to go on and improve their standards and to make sure that uh, consumers will buy from them because now the price will be equally matched. Because in the past, their price used to be more expensive. Now it's going to be better for them. And now consumers can choose them and create awareness. Thank you very much. We don't talk for seven minutes and 20 seconds. Seven minutes. Ms. House believes the only social responsibility that a company or corporation has is to make a profit. How many phones do you have? Wait, is that a camera or a phone? Camera. Oh my god, I got it on the phone. It's Kodak. It looks so weird. I used it with my friend when we go to like beach and that. <laughs>